Hello to everybody on YouTube, uh, it's Jonathan here. I hope you're doing well in these kind of interesting times that we're living through. I've been asked to take part in a special collaboration with my good friends Patricia Hammond and Matt Redman, and they've been doing a series called Living Room Requests, where they take any song, literally any song, and they will recreate it in their living room. Obviously times are very, very hard for musicians now, and this has been one of the ways that they've been able to sort of keep going during these, uh, these interesting coronavirus times. So we decided to collaborate on two British dance band records, and I've set them a challenge of a transport theme. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hear two records from my uh, record collection, and then we're gonna go to Patricia and Matt, and we're gonna hear their uh, modern recreation of these recordings. And the first record is the wonderful Choo Choo by Jack Payne and his orchestra, uh, his BBC Dance Orchestra. Uh, one of my absolute favourite train songs. This was um, obviously composed in America by uh, Frank Trumbauer. And uh, Jack Payne and his orchestra did a really, really very, very good job with this. So let's hear a bit of Choo Choo and then we're going to cross over to Patricia and Matt. And I really, really can't wait to see what they're going to come up with. So here we are with Choo Choo, as it was, oh, 1930, sorry, 1930. I have with me some 1930s sandpaper, which is necessary for this. And Matt has I have his a very- banjo and I have a drum, just like a cross between a snare drum and a bass drum that I can play with my foot. And I have something here by my mouth. So <laughs> let's see what we can make out. And we hope for Mr. Holmes that uh, it's- we hope it's something, pleases you. you. Know, yeah, exactly. I thought it's something, something a little bit different. Look at that train coming down the track. Chills are going up and down my back. Just got here in a taxi cab. I got my clothes in an old kid bag. Oh, look at that choo choo. Oh, and my cuckoo gonna make a trip all way down south, and I don't need a cigar in my mouth. Get blue when I hear the wheeze of the choo choo. Cause we're 
we're going to switch now from trains to planes. And uh, one of the very, very first aviation themed recordings that I picked up was Me and Jane in a Plane by the wonderful Jack Hilton and his orchestra. Um, interesting story behind this. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, when the song was being promoted and it was launched in 1927, Jack actually paid for an aeroplane to drop hundreds of copies of sheet music of Me and Jane in a Plane onto uh, unsuspecting holiday makers in Blackpool in 1927 as a sort of marketing ploy. The idea was that people would then take the sheet music home, play it on their piano, and that would be the birth of a new hit. Uh, it's long been a favourite of mine. Obviously, the Jack Hilton Orchestra did so, so many recordings, but uh, this one is, uh, is really, really pleasant because it shows them at the height of their 1927 powers. And uh, I can't, really cannot wait to see what Matt and Patricia come up with. So as usual, we're going to hear my recording first, and then we're going to hear uh, Patricia and Matt with a very, very nice modern recreation of me and Jane in a plane. what he does with the with the transfers and getting the the records as good sounding as they possibly can be and then and sharing the slideshows sharing them with everybody it's wonderful it's wonderful and honestly the slideshows are amazing as well i think he's and done hundreds 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 and hundreds please 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 go to his channel go to his channel Link subscribe below. and if you're from him 
it, we'd consider it a great honor if you subscribe to us <laughs> and we'll do all your requests if there's a piece of sheet music that you know isn't recorded we'll do that you can hear it we'll make it a reality that's part of our living room request series yes so tell us so, uh, so what me and doing? jane in a plane we're going to do me and jane in a plane as requested it's from 1926 um i just thought i'd say something a bit about um my vocal approach um i I think that it's a very good idea in evoking a past uh, era to try not to have any modern mannerisms. And the way you achieve that, I I think, is you listen to as many recordings from the time as possible, but avoid listening to one singer in particular, mm. any one singer, because you want to find your own reaction to the words, which is number one in a song, your, your emotion in reaction to the way, even if it's a silly song, you still have an emotion um, attached to those words. So I the meaning of the words, definitely. clarity of the words, emotion, and if you've immersed yourself in the world of those records, which, you know, you can do thanks to people like Jonathan David Holmes mm -hmm. uploading so many records. I mean, I grew up in a, in a, in a house full of 78, so I was really lucky. Um, before YouTube, but now with YouTube, you can just play these things all the time and really absorb the styles as much style as you as want. Much. Now, and otherwise, you, you end up with there's so many people <laughs> that I know play the guitar and they just sort of like Django Reinhardt, and that's the beginning and the end of their <laughs> entire musical world. And I just don't think that's a, a, a balanced approach. So this this is a guitar that was most commonly photographed and played by um, Nick Lucas and Eddie. Eddie Lang in the early mid 1920s called the Gibson L4 and uh, you know they're two guitarists that are much less uh, copied than the one that we just mentioned before. for watching this uh, special video, a joint collaboration between myself, uh, Matt and Patricia in their living room requests. Uh, I'm going to put a link to their channel on the screen and on the um, description for the video. So please, please go and watch them and do check them out because they're doing some really, really terrific stuff. And uh, you know they will literally recreate any song you like. And uh, they have been doing all sorts of interesting things. So I'm very, very grateful to them. They've obliged me with two uh, of my favorite dance band numbers. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm going to keep on with the uploads for now. And um, yes, hopefully I'll see you all soon. Take care.